Hey guys, welcome back. Moving on now to the third uh, project in my gift cards and money holders class that I did. Um, I'm sharing with you this. This is a class I taught at a recent um, Ready, Set, Crop retreat weekend. Um, and this features the Silver Bells collection from Close to My Heart. Um, I love the colors and the patterns in this collection. Um, it basically, um, you'll find a blog post, a link to a blog post on this descript on this description, and um, also in um, my blog post, you'll find a link to a downloadable PDF with full directions on how to cut all of your papers and your pattern papers and your cardstock and how to score and assemble all of five of these projects. I'm just doing one video at a time for each of the projects. And um, I hope you guys like this. If you do like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you, when you're on my blog that you subscribe to my blog so you get updates with um, everything that's going on. And um, so let's, we're gonna move on. So now I've already done the videos for the two gift card holders. We're gonna move on to the first of our money holders with this um, video. So let me move these other pieces out of the way so we can get started with this. Now you're gonna need the pieces that you cut for this, your pattern paper pieces, your cardstock, and everything that you cut for this. So that's what we have here. You're going to need um, a scoring platform or a trimmer with a scoring blade. You're going to need a punch, one inch, one and a half inch, one and a quarter inch, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, some strong adhesive tape to create your pocket. And I also use the strong adhesive tape on my belly band. And then um, some regular adhesive tape. So here's this, and this basically has a belly band. And then this one folds out with a simple pocket. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna put my pieces aside. And um, what we're gonna do is, now this is a piece that is seven by, um, I believe it's seven and, uh, yeah, seven and a quarter, seven and a half. So you wanna make sure that you're, score, you're gonna be scoring on the right side. So this is seven and a half here. And this is the side I wanna be scoring on because this is, this piece, and I'm double checking this with my trimmer, is the seven. So my scoring lines are gonna go, are gonna be on the seven and a half inch side. So this is just be, be very careful when you're doing this so that you don't score on the wrong side. So we're gonna basically make two score lines on this. We're gonna score at two and a quarter, and then again at five and a quarter. Pretty simple. <laughs> now we're gonna fold each of these in. And that's pretty pretty easy to do now this one tricky part with this one is putting the notch in it so what I would recommend you do is you're going to put your so you're gonna because you're gonna have to punch through three layers of paper and I know my punch works and some people's punches may not work with this so what I did is I matted my paper from my bottom from my pocket and then I put this, I adhered this. So before I'm making my pocket, I'm gonna do this to get the notch in it. And this, I'm using my little side marks on my punch to line it up. And you could do this, of course, on each piece, but I did it more for kind of keeping it together. And this is just gonna take a little bit of bit of effort not too bad but it's a lot easier than after trying to do it after you've made your pocket so now that I've done my punches I'm going to take my strong adhesive and I'm going to put it on two sides so only on the left and the right sides to create my pocket very edges and I've talked about this with the other videos I always try to make sure I've got a little bit of room when I do the pocket, when I fold it up, I don't want to press it down. I don't want to give it so that it's not, there's not room to insert the money or the gift card holders in it. So just make sure that you can kind of stick your fingers inside. So pretty easy there. Then I'm just going to 
add my sentiment layer to the top. And then I'm going to mat my other cardstock on the other piece of mink cardstock. There we go. And then this is going to be covering the front of the gift card holder. And then from here, we're gonna make our belly band. So I have a piece of zip strip and a piece of charcoal cardstock. I'm gonna adhere the zip strip to the center of the charcoal cardstock. And then I'm gonna take a piece of my tear tape, score tape, strong adhesive, put it on the back side. And I showed this with the first one that had a belly band. What I do, when I do a belly band, is I always start to bring it around from the back and make sure that you're giving yourself a little bit of wiggle room so that this slides easy. Don't You don't want to crease that fold. You're going to basically bringing it around and then carefully fold this up and down. And just I just usually make sure that it slides easy and then I do this because I put the seam at the front so that you don't have it on the back so it's got a clean line because I'm going to take and I am going to cover the seam with my stamped bells image so there's your piece now what I did with mine and I'll do this here and set it aside is I colored in the images using my Coloristas. I just did it a very, very gentle color, very light color. And I'm going to add some platinum stickles to embellish my bell and my ornament stamped images. And, and I'm going to set this aside because, of course, with always with stickles, they can be very messy. So I'm just going to do that. And that is the first of the two money holders that were part of this class. And like I said, just make sure you give yourself ample room that the belly band slides on and off the money holder easy and i hope you guys like this and um i hope you're checking out the other videos and if you do like these please like and subscribe to my channel and i hope you like and follow my blog thank you very much